Kamala Harris and Dade Phelan have this in common. It's July 23rd, 2024, and these are your headlines. So what do Kamala Harris and Texas House Speaker Dade Phelan have in common? Well, they're both supported by Texas Democrats. That's right. Several of Dade Phelan's committee chairs, the people he's put in leadership positions, have now endorsed Kamala Harris for president following an announcement by Joe Biden this weekend stating that he would not accept his party's nomination for a second term. A joint statement from the Texas House Democrat Caucus revealed that 57 Democrats in the Texas House out of 64 are endorsing Harris for the Democrat nomination. And among those endorsers are several Democrats that Dade Phelan has appointed to lead key committees in the House, including Victoria Nyave, who's the chair of the County Affairs Committee, Joe Moody, who chairs the Criminal Jurisprudence Committee, Harold Dutton, chair of the Juvenile Justice and Family Issues Committee, as well as Sinfronia Thompson, who chairs the Select Committee on Youth Health and Safety. Now, the lawmakers said in their statement, they said, this is a moment that will define the future of our districts, our state, and our country. This is a moment that needs a leader with vision and conviction. This is a moment for Kamala Harris. Well, despite the House's Republican majority, this is Texas, we have a Republican majority in our legislature. Well, Dave Phelan's continued to appoint Democrats to powerful committee chair positions, even as a majority of his own party members expressed their opposition to supporting a speaker next session who empowers Democrats. Kamala Harris, meanwhile, has reportedly secured a majority of delegates to the Democrat National Convention, making her the presumptive nominee to face off against former President Donald Trump in November. Well, with all this going on with Kamala Harris and Joe Biden dropping out, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick says that former President Barack Obama is gearing up for a fourth term. This is what he said. He said Obama is seeking his fourth term as president. He said the June debate was a hit job on Biden by his own party, humiliating him with step one to run him out. He went on to say there was no need for Biden to debate that early. They were with him every day. They knew how badly he would perform. Lieutenant Governor Patrick also accused Barack Obama of running the White House as opposed to Biden and said he will continue to run it with either the assistance of Vice President Kamala Harris or Michelle Obama. Now we know that will likely be Kamala Harris. Dan Patrick said Biden was picked back in 2020 so Obama could effectively serve a third term. Now he says he's attempting to dominate a fourth term. So what do you think? Was the debate a setup against Joe Biden? Is Obama pulling the strings behind the scenes? Let us know in the comments. What are the important things out there in Texas politics and Texas news that matter to you and what can you do about it? That's what we want to bring you with the Luke Messia show on a weekly basis for 20 to 30 minutes. That way you can get the information and go do something for the rest of your week. I look forward to coming to you every Wednesday. Border security efforts by Governor Greg Abbott, the Texas Department of Public Safety and the Texas National Guard have led to more than 516,300 illegal alien apprehensions, more than 45,000 criminal arrests, and more than 39,000 felony charges, according to the governor's office. Through Operation Lone Star, Texas law enforcement has also seized over 505 million lethal doses of fentanyl, which is enough to kill every man, woman, and child in the United States and Mexico, since beginning the busing program in 2022, Texas has transported more than 119,000 illegal aliens to cities across the country, including Washington, D.C., New York City, Chicago, Philadelphia, and Los Angeles. To address the recent flow of illegal crossings reportedly surging in Maverick County, Governor Abbott said on Sunday that new sections of the border wall were under construction. Although Operation Lone Star is Texas's main border security effort, we've reported that some public policy analysts see the program as insufficient, noting its several challenges that hinder its effectiveness. As of June, Texas only had 317 State Guard members currently deployed to the border. While Texas does have access to National Guard and Reserve Forces, those remain under dual command with the federal government and are trained for overseas combat operations rather than homeland defense. The Guard also has other pay and benefit issues that the legislature has yet to address. For more of today's stories, go to texasscorecard.com.